control or you know yes uh, as a way to kind of make up for all those crappy golden axe videos i made it's going to be a good idea to pick a old game that does not stink it will be flicky it's a game that has one button jump and flap and it's basically an escort game where you have to take these uh, whoops okay i'm off to a roaring start uh, it's a game where you have one button, which is flap. You pick up these little chicks here, because they're your babies. They will follow you to the exit. The more you take, the more you es escort with you to the exit, the more points you get, see? Um, easier said than done, right? It's got, uh, wrapping levels. I, I forget what the word is. It's like, basically the levels are infinite in that there's no, there's no border. They just kind of wrap around, like in the old Atari games. And the challenge here is to pretty much recognize that you cannot directly attack your enemies you can only avoid them you can use these pots to sort of eh, attack your enemies but since there's only one button you pretty much use the same button to jump and flap as you do to uh, throw this little pot so basically you can't carry the pot with you just kind of release it when you're ready to shoot it so you can push it along but then you have to press the jump button to really release it now, so that was just me messing around with the game for the first time in about three or four years. I actually had uh, the Genesis Collection on the PSP, and this was actually one of the games I actually really liked. Mainly because it's so simple and so charming as it is. And I'm going to do a better run this time, I think. It's the kind of game where you can the games can last anywhere from two minutes to like an hour if you're really good at it. So, might as well consider this practice. I'll play it safe for now. Ugh. Of course, since I can't attack anyone, I have to avoid these guys. Oh yeah, don't let these guys touch your babies or else they'll run away. Okay, I got a point for that. Uh, not done yet. Oh, there we go. Again, the levels are small enough so you can find the birds pretty easily. There we go. That'll do it. And again, if you clear them, if you grab all the babies and escort them to the exit all at once, you get a bonus. And the reason I'm playing this game now, other than the fact that I like it, is that there's actually um, a bonus. I think I unlock Zaxxon if um, I'm able to clear out this game, or at least get, what, 80,000 points in it. Whoops! And then Ty goes to the loser. Okay, so I got 200. These are those little hammers are cute. Okay, so here we go. Uh, is this going to do them all? Crap. If they touch, if he touches those babies, they're not going to, they're going to stop in their path and not going to follow me. So I have to keep away. There they are. I'm clear. Yes! Uh, though I didn't, although I did dodge, I don't get the perfect bonus. This is cute. Okay, I got to catch him on the arc. Here's the hard part. I gotta get I gotta get back up to speed so I can turn around and collect the wrecks, connect the next wave. Ugh. I always miss one. <laughs> but this is pretty much all you need to see. About two or three levels of it, about a few levels in a bonus round, and the levels kind of go like this pretty much on all the way through. And you always, and I always die for stupid, easy reasons like this, by the way. Stupid, simple reasons. The control, I guess the best way to describe it is kind of like Joust back in the day, if you remember that game on the uh, arcades and on the Atari. It was a game where basically you pressed one button to flap, but you couldn't really fly. In fact, you can't fly in this game. You just kind of flap. But also the control is actually not too bad. You kind of slide around a bit in the air. That's actually part of the challenge, is that kind of trying to overcome momentum so that you don't run into stuff but you, of course you can make those little u jumps you saw me do to kind of go from one level to the other again this is the kind of i think mini game that if it were a indie title today probably wouldn't sell that well but <laughs> uh, then again looking at games like flappy bird i guess it might sell pretty well okay is that all of them once this banquet i got yeah and the time bonus, because I finished under what? Was it 20 seconds or 30 seconds to get the time bonus? Um, I don't have to talk about graphics here or music. I mean, this game came out in, what, the 80s, the early 80s, and it looks like uh, 
<laughs> basically looks like a Atari game at best. Whoops! Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. If he grabs them, they stop following me. I can't... I forgot the exit's up there. Sometimes, yeah, you get trapped because you... You overdo it. You kind of overshoot your um, jumps and you just make poor decisions and you get stuck. Take them both out? Nope, I missed one. That's okay. I banked this one. That's all of them. See, these levels aren't really complicated. It's just that you kind of overdo it. Okay, let's get turned around so I can get my speed up. Ah, missed one. See, always happens. And the hit detection is kind of where you have to make sure you don't ugh, do that. <laughs> Completely miss the enemy that's falling right in your net. That level kind of reminds me of Gremlins on the Atari 2600, if you remember that game. Where you kind of had to catch Gremlins that were falling from the air. Although at least they were falling in a straight line in that Atari game. Okay, bank a couple of those. Whoops! See? Obviously, I'm kind of a newbie. I've played this game a bit, but I don't think I've played more than a couple of hours in this game. As much fun as it's been. Uh, I always sort of make stupid mistakes like that. That's only one of them. Okay, let's avoid this guy. Oh, I missed it. Oh, there's another one I missed. Make the U-turn. There we go. Take that guy out. Let's bank these guys. Yeah, that guy got that guy got lost. Okay, so it took me out of my bonus because that one guy got lost. Well, he just got touched by the bad guy. How much do I need here? Was it fifty thousand or eighty thousand? I'm actually not doing too poorly to get that extra bonus Zaxxon game released. I think it's Zaxxon. It's one of these games. I think this is actually a decent game to actually get a bonus because I don't recall the um. The, um, what was it? The last Sega Genesis anthology on the PSP. You had to play really, really, really crappy games like Altered Beast or, um, Alex Kidd to get to unlock games. And God, those games are so awful. It's like a penance. <laughs> okay, I screwed up. So I'm, I'm going to go for 50k. Because I'm not that bad at this game. I think this is like one of those games you should play because it's like, okay, you got a show coming on at 10. You got a show coming on in five minutes. You don't want to commit to something really long. You can play a game like this, like a pinball game, and it's about as much fun as a pinball game to someone like me. Not as complex, but kind of charming and easy to mess around with and beat your old score. Whoop! Except you play like that. I think... I think, yeah, in fact, there's a pinball game on here, Sonic Spinball, which is, which might just be the worst pinball game ever released on the Genesis. Uh, so I wish they hadn't done that, but hey. Museums are museums for a reason. You gotta learn. Know your history, kids. Ah, I missed one. Now, part of me almost feels like I want to ask some, I want to ask some of an older gamer who maybe missed out on games like this, and maybe likes games like, you know, Flappy Bird. You know, how would you feel about a game like this? It's really simple, easy to understand. Uh, controls reasonably well. And has a score, it's basically just a score chase. Uh, crap. Ah, I lost one. I'm going to lose another one. I'll just bank this one because I'm sick of all this crap. It's safer for me to just bank what I have than just keep following this trail of people. Trail of birds. Chicks. Chicks and cocks. That's what this game's all. Actually, I think there are any males except. I think I'll, yeah, I think even the foxes are female. Chicks and foxy ladies. Yeah, I, th I think this is a mama bird, as I recall. So, for those of you who keep track of gender and gender protagonists in video games, here you go. <laughs> no signifiers though. Just fine. Ha! There you go. So that's going to help me out on my quest to get the uh, 50k. That would be easier for me to start from the beginning. Since my score reset to zero when I died. But I think the speed is what increases af after a while. Whoop. Okay, so I do not want to get stuck here. I'm stuck. Yep. 
Well, at least I didn't die. That's what counts, right? Whoop! You jump. I'm sure the speedrunners were all about this, because I don't I have no idea what I'm doing, really. Whoop! I'm just kind of winging it. Old school, like in the old Atari games. Just kind of winging it till I die. Or screw up royally. Missed one, didn't I? Okay, a couple of guys here. Bang to those guys. Nope, that's all of them. So I couldn't tell the candles from the chicks. So that was kind of a problem. Now I need to record this video at 360p. I mean, come on. Do I really need 580p? Do I really need 480p for this? I mean, seriously. Okay, let's do this. Ah, I missed it. Okay, so I'm messing everything up. There goes my time limit. And that chick's carrying sunglasses. Yeah, I lost one. I'm gonna lose another one. Okay, enough of this. Yeah, I missed them. Okay, so there are only two cats in this level. At least I thought there were three. So these are tigers, not cats. But anyway. Now I'm immediately thinking, how can I turn this into an open world game with combos? <laughs> but like I said, it's relatively non-violent. I mean, you can pick up stuff to clear out obstacles, but the game isn't really about, you know, defeating your enemy. It's mainly about avoiding them. Oh, crap. This is not going to be a fun level if I get stuck in this dead end. I see. God, I knew this. I'm just freaking out. I'm freaking out! Um, okay. I'm just going to have to wing this. Maybe carry a teacup with me in case I get stuck. There we go, see? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm bouncing off the walls. That sucks. Well, I can probably use that to my advantage, though. There you go. So I got 50k. I guess I need 80k to get the bonus. But again, this is what we used to do back in the day. Score chase. Play these little simple games until you, uh... Uh, beat your old scores. And then you know you sucked when you didn't get us... When you didn't beat get at least a minimum score. Here we go. Because I would go into a game like this with a minimum score in mind. And sometimes you're just feeling it. You know, you're getting, you're getting nice high scores and you're feeling a rhythm. And sometimes you're, you stink up the joint and, <laughs> well, you barely get past level one. That's just the kind of game this is. Didn't have a teacup in my hand. And again, you can't carry these. Okay, you can carry them with you until you jump. So basically, it's not worth your time to just carry them with you you have to jump eventually that seems to be the logic here that you can't there's only one button so the strategy is you can't keep these projectiles with you okay so i think the next level will get me where i need to be i don't know how many level how many characters do i have left I don't know how many lives i have left so i'm gonna oh this is gonna suck i'm gonna get stuck okay so i gotta keep this in mind keep a teacup with you oh crap okay, here we go that's not bad now i'm gonna have to hurry up don't dilly-dally in these dangerous areas. Whoop, crap! Okay, bank them. Okay, so I'm not going to get 80k on this level, so... Unless I can clear, unless I can beat up a few of these guys for points. Crap! Okay, um, give it one more go. I'm using up time on, I'm using up time on this DVD recorder, so... This will, this will be what I used to, this will be what I used to finish off the game. I don't know why I'm playing this game in 16.9 either, but... <laughs> Hey man, she got it, flaunt it. Gotta have that aspect ratio. Okay. I'm going for 50, I'm going for the perfect run, so let's see what I got. No, I gotta get one more. Okay, let's do this. Perfect run. Yes! Okay. Okay, so let's do this. So again, I think in about half an hour you can really sort of get a groove, and after about an hour maybe you'll really, really dig this game, but I think there might be a limit on a game like this. There's only, only so much you can do in a game like this. Ah, crap, sick. I just freaked out. But they're all in one place, so let's see what we can do. Okay, that's all of them. Yeah, okay, I'm good. I guess I can just stick around and then throw hammers at these guys for points, but <laughs> you're not going to get a lot of points for doing that. You're going to... I don't think there's a time limit, is there? I think it just, I just think it stops giving you points if you wait longer than a minute. Okay, up to speed. So I have to start my run as soon as I get the last bird. 
momentum. Yes! So eventually it works. Okay, let's make it quick. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, but it's okay. Don't want to get stuck under the long beam. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay, I got it. I can't turn around. At least not with those. At least not without the hammer. Whoop! Oh, okay, I'm good. Sometimes you just freak out. You just don't want to lose any chicks. You end up getting yourself killed. I need to remember that. The chicks will not die, but you will. So, <laughs> I have to keep that in mind. <laughs> don't freak out. I know it's easy to say that, but it's like, you know, again, you're in a groove and you let the little things get to you. This game isn't that hard. It's just, you just let the little things get to you. Are these telephones? Okay. It doesn't really matter what level you're in. The items you throw are always the same. Or at least they're always different. You always have the same, same purpose, though. Crap! Well, there goes my perfect run. And again, once these um, tigers are taken out, they don't respawn for a few seconds. So you can run right in front of these cages and you'll be safe. At least at first. Whoops! Okay, let's do this. Again, the chicks won't die, so I have to stay ahead of these guys. Bank. Whoa! Okay, how did I not die there? <laughs> I'm not going to complain. I just don't know how I didn't die. Okay, we're good. Yeah, they can't jump that high, so I'm good. I think they only go up one level at a time. <laughs> they're pretty ruthless. The game's not hard, but they're really fast at a certain point. Okay, I don't know how many uh, lives I have left. This will not go well. Oh, I don't want to get stuck here in this level. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, I definitely don't want to hang around. These little areas where I get stuck. So I got one more left. Okay, just take this with me, and I'll jump if I have to. There we go. Okay, I'm good. There we go. <laughs> Again, the level's not big. It's just... I don't want to get stuck in a bad place. Okay, let's see if I can go for 60k here. Ah, oh, crap! Okay, I totally screwed that up. I just, yeah, I just overcompensated. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll get 60,000 next time. At the end of this level, I should have 60,000, but I'm going for 80, so. And I was at level 9 when I died last time I played, so let's see what happens. And that cat is now the bag yet. <laughs> Crap! Okay, again, oh, there's I'm the bottom left corner of the screen. Ha ha. That's the number of lives. That's the number of lives I have left. Whoops! Just not paying attention. I'm not gonna make it to 60k. Now this sucks. Okay, anyway. Okay, there's the cat. Darn it! I keep forgetting how to turn around. Okay, um, I'm going to stop the recording, but I've made my point. Look, flicky, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> old games that don't suck.